Lent has begun. And so has my plan, I guess. <laughs> what have I been doing this week then? Well, Monday, Tuesday, and obviously last Sunday as well, you didn't see any updates on my Twitter feed, mainly because I was kind of cheating a little bit, but it wasn't Lent until Wednesday. So I, I decided I wanted to just have a complete reset so that on Wednesday I could start afresh, I could do exactly what I planned to do. And that is what I've done. Now, I'm not going to go through all my food, but if you go to my Twitter account, uh, you'll see every meal I've had and some of the drinks I've had updated on here, along with my step totals for the day and the one sp swimming I did. Uh, it also will show at the beginning of each day the, f the step golf, the step target, step total. Wow, words are playing today. <laughs> the step total from yesterday. Uh, how many coins that hurt me and how many coins I am at, on, on a total and how many lives I have left as well from the cheatings. What I will say, although I'm not going to go through each and every piece of food on here, you will see there are no cheats. And I will tell you now for a fact, I've not had any fizzy drinks, which was the drinks I was banning myself from. I have had hot chocolate, but I didn't ban that, so that's acceptable at this point, as long as it's in moderation. Uh, so, like, I have one when I get into work, generally, which is generally because it's so freaking cold outside at the minute, you need something to heat you up, and I'm not a tea or coffee drinker, so that's the option, basically. Uh, although we do now have hot Vimto, but it's full fat Vimto, whereas I drink uh, the no added sugar Vimto. Um, so that's that's the reason for the hot chocolates but as i say uh, i didn't actually ban hot chocolate so we're not counting them as lives lost at this point and no one's called me on it so we're sticking with that <laughs> um so that's that now i don't think i've ever shown you the tablet before <laughs> but it's what i have is let me just zoom this in so you can see I don't know if this is going to work. Oh, there we go. You can just about see there. So it's a spreadsheet on my tablet that shows how many steps I'm on, how many coins I've earned each day, the swimming, all that sort of stuff. If that doesn't look good when I play it back later, then I'll overlay it. <laughs> I don't know why I'm telling you that, because you'll have seen the overlay, so I could just cheat on that. Um, but yeah, that's what's going on with that. So... I can tell you at this point, considering I've done four days, I'm on 45 coins. Um, it's pretty low, to say the least, because basically I've I've not hit my step goal any day yet. But I have been walking at least, so yesterday was a low day. Um, I actually went shopping in Tesco's at one point, so that pushed my step goal up to get the two coins rather than just the one coin for pottering around the house. Today, I've only pottered around the house, but it is only 11 o'clock, and I've so far I've done 633 steps. Uh, I do plan on going out for a walk. <laughs> if the weather stays as good as it is right now, which isn't very good, but it's not raining. I'm not a great fan of the rain, obviously, but it's it's England, you've got to get used to it. Um, so, if it stays dry enough, I'll definitely be going for a walk. If it doesn't, I'll find another way to get my steps in there, or maybe even nip round to the gym and go for a swim. But, we'll see. That's what we've got to work out, basically. Uh, so, yeah, so I'm on 45 coins. Um, and that's not taken into account the uh, weight yet which um, I haven't told you about yet. Well, I stayed the same. <laughs> In fairness, that's to be expected, because as I say, Monday, Tuesday weren't great days. No, Sunday. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday were good days eating, but not so good exercise. So it's pretty good I've stayed the same. Um, basically, there is a 0 0.1 pound difference, which could be dust on the sensor for all I know, so we, we disregard that. Um, so with that in mind, basically, I didn't gain any points, I didn't lose any points, or coins, or whatever I'm calling them. I will have this sussed out. Um, but yeah, that's that's where I am right now with the uh, weights. It stayed the same. Hopefully, if I have the same sort of meals uh, this week, or follow the same plan this week, I should say, and don't cheat, and I get some more walking in, then hopefully things will 
keep improving and I will get back to losing weight again. That's the plan. We'll see how we go. Um, you'll obviously see me updates on Twitter during the week. Uh, but that's that's where I'm at. Now, I've shown a few of my friends uh, this um, game I'm playing, as some of them have put it. And I've, I've had good comments, which is great. <laughs> one, one person said, what's the point? But it's trying to make it work in my head, basically. That's, that's what the point is, and he got it once I explained it all to him. But most of us have been all very supportive and very helpful and they say they'll call me out if they see me doing something that's a cheat on my thing, um, that sort of stuff. And I'm very appreciative of that and if anybody does want to call me out, please do. You will see all the food I eat on there. If I don't put food on there, call that out. Call out that, oh, I didn't see lunch yesterday, what did you have? That'll force me to have to either admit to what I had, because somebody will have seen me eat it if I'm in work, um, or basically just put up the update that I forgot to put up, that sort of thing. So to do do that uh, and it really is genuinely appreciated. Appreciated. Wow, words are really playing fair today. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> I, I could cut this video any way I want but I think it's better if you see it raw to be perfectly honest with you because quite frankly this is who I am. This is what I do, I trip over words. Which is quite silly considering I've worked in a call centre for the last 10 years. Admittedly that last year without being on the phones. But even in the call centre I tripped over words. Better than tripping over my feet, which I've done in the past as well. Uh, that led to a broken finger, what, four years ago? In fact, four years ago today I saw the, the update on uh, Facebook reminded me of that. Uh, remind me to show you the picture of that. Um, <laughs> yeah, we'll not go there. Okay, so... <laughs> Yeah, and the other thing that one of my friends has said is maybe I should make this a thing and market it, that sort of thing. Now, I'm not great at that sort of thing, but I'm going to look into that as a possibility. Um, it's not an easy one to market because basically I've set up cheats that work for me and targets that work for me. So somehow I'd have to say this is what I'd expect as a minimum target but you should set your own targets um, I feel like I'm pitching the idea like Dragon's Den at the minute but <laughs> uh, so I've got to work out the best way of, of doing that and for all I know this might actually be a plan somewhere else anyway but we'll look into that if it works for me there's a lot to go at I've just noticed how red my eye looks, so I suppose I should explain. I've actually got a spot in my eyebrow here, uh, which I've been trying to get out, and it's obviously made my eye pretty horrible. It makes me look like I've got a black eye. Get close, so you can hopefully see where the spot is. Yeah. I hate it when you get them in your eyebrow. It's very rare, but when you do, they are so painful, and they do not want to come out. And when, when they finally go, it's such a relief. But obviously, until then, it looks like I've been punched. <laughs> That's quite funny. I can't understand why people wear makeup when they do films now. <laughs> I guess it hides things like that. Um, I suppose it, the, the lights make your look, skin look pale, but my skin looks pale anyway, as anybody who knows me can, can tell you. you. Literally, you could stand next to me after, after being on the ski slopes for a week, and I will still look whiter than you. After I've been in Florida, <laughs> it's um, well, it's been a bit of, well, fair skin basically and fair head. It just comes natural, unfortunately. Factor 50 sunscreen for, sunscreen for the win. See what I mean about words? They're just not playing. <laughs> Okay, this is turning a bit rambly at the minute, so I'm actually going to stop there. Um, but if anybody does have any ideas as to what I can improve to make this possibly a marketable idea, I don't know, uh, by all means get in touch. If anybody makes it a marketable idea after, after this video, I'll come after you now, because this video proves I've, I had the idea first. <laughs> and if anybody shows me somebody else had it first, then okay, fair enough, I lose. Um, <laughs> But yeah, at the minute I'm not trying to profit on these things. I'm tr well, I am trying to profit, but I'm trying to profit by losing this, not by getting money. Money be nice, but it's not it's not the target yet. So that's where I'm at. Um, by all means, 
like or dislike the video, so it depends on how you feel about it. If you do dislike, please let me know why. Please leave comments in general, subscribe, watch more. There's loads going on on this channel. It's all about weight loss at the minute. And you get the occasional uh, video game as well. So, because I like, like my Formula 1s and Watch Dogs and all that, you might see them just suddenly appear. Um, otherwise, thanks very much for watching, guys. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter. Watch my, Twitter, uh, watch my Fitbit account. Um, and I shall see you next time.